Hey, hello, scrappers. Whew. Thought I'd come out here in the shop today and try to clean up some of this uh, copper. Not doing a total clean, just trying to get it broke down to where it can be easily cleaned up. Give my wife something to do. <coughs> Weather kind of has changed a little bit on me from yesterday. Getting a little bit of snow today. And of course, with the snow brings mud. But uh, I think it's 34 degrees here in Oklahoma, right here, or here in Blanchard anyway. Snow's blowing by pretty good. You can see it's sticking where the grass is, but uh, other places it's just making a muddy mess. So, if the weather was nicer, I'd be out there working. But it's not, so I'm in here. Got the uh, little heater going. This thing, it's 220 heater. They're like $100 at Northern Tool. Good little garage heater shop. It's uh, pretty quiet. Has 3,000, two switches on it. 3,000 and 5,000 watts. Uh, occasionally I can find some that have three, four, and five. But this one's just a three and five. So, anyway, what I'm trying to clean up is try to get this you know, get the metal off of here. You know, I got this whole bucket here of the goodies to do. So, uh, try to get some of this off of here. Uh, hey, let me grab my pin punches over here. Pick these up. It's snowing in here now. It's kind of blowing in from up there. I don't know if you can see that up, up there. Still need to put some two by fours in there and fill that in. I got a bunch of two by fours out there in the, the junk truck I brought in. It's got a tarp over the back and it's got a bunch of pieces brought in there. Anyway, I'm going to try to. A lot of times these little pieces here are copper. So, time to aim this down a little bit, trying to figure out just the best way to knock these things down. I may try to put it in a vise this way. Need to find a little container I can stand these up in. Small hammer should do the trick. Yeah, I'm looking for the word. I can't hardly see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but you see a little bitty loop sticking out there. That punch may be too big. I get one small enough and it'll probably a punch will probably bend. Yeah, let's try that, see what it does. Yeah, that's doing it. Gonna alternate back and forth. I'm gonna tighten the vice up a little bit. And it fell. These that aren't familiar with these. Pull that piece out of there. Now we got just a copper piece there. I'll throw it in the bucket there. You see how this just sat right inside of there. Yeah, I'm not doing anything in a hurry today. Yeah, this is a hobby anyway. It gets me out of the house. Been 
you know, it's almost noon now, so I've been just sitting around the house doing little or nothing. And I'm going to throw the rest of that into short iron. Yeah, I started starting to save short iron again. I found another place to, another yard to sell it. So right now, Metal Check is paying 160 a ton for 10. But Sims Metal Management, they're paying uh, $200 a ton for short iron. And Metal Check just has the one one size fits all because they just crush it. And what I have done in the past, I've taken these where the copper is and take the die grinder or angle grinder and whack these off and then pull it out the other side. And uh, they are copper. A little bit of work, so, you know, if you micro scrap or hobby scrap, you can take the time to get them if you want. Yeah, let me tighten that up some more. I'm just wondering if I can get a better view if I bring it over here like this. Crank it down good and hard. And the vice swiveled on me. Hope everybody's staying warm and making some money on this copper. And Tim. Yeah, it's not really wanting to pry out of there. Well, kind of tight down in there. I may just have to cut that with the angle grinder and be done with it or bandsaw. That one there, well, this is somewhat welded. I could take the cold chisel maybe and smack it down in there. And I don't even, yeah, I got a cold chisel out here. Let me get a little bigger hammer. I got a nice little gap in there. Sometimes just improvise. Doesn't work one way. Try something else. You can see now that made a nice little gap there. But the other one closed up. So, uh, see if I can knock it downward or outward yes coming out that that way instead of going down the length of it I just kind of wedged it outward and there's a nice little chunk of copper ready to be cleaned like I said the rest of that will throw into short iron I'll go ahead and show you how I do those real quick Almost time to come over here and warm my fingers up. Got a nice jacket on, so.
for the micro scrappers. Oh, need a lose. that off of there and then we still got a couple little ones on the inside so yeah I kind of bent this bunch the other day that's about the size I need tap it down tap down pretty easy Kind of straightened it up a little better than it was. Try to knock those down as far as I can. They should pull out a little easier. I don't know my hands in the way. So you can see what I'm doing here. Now let's flip it over. It looks like one of the plates came up with it. I can get under here with the needle nose, pull it up, a little bit of copper, a can here, I can put that in, pull that one pulled right out. that down into the bucket I keep that one out handy yeah, this is pretty much like that last one so again all cold chisel seem to work nothing else cold chisel got it broke loose I'm just gonna go, got it opened up here now so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it at an angle I'm just tapping I'm not hitting hard it's totally separate now it just came right off and then center slides right out Now again, if we want to clean up the copper, that's where the money's at, right? I'm going to reposition this fan, or this heater, more over here. Turn a couple of these louvers up. Oh, my nose is getting a little bit cold. Hey, if you're finding the this interesting or useful educational at all uh, appreciate it if you'd subscribe and I put the grinder way back over here I should just put it on that little table we're closer yeah I lose a little copper cutting this off cut in so far and then that one kind of moves out I've got a couple more of these sitting over here. I'm going to be out here a while going through these, but get a bucket of them ready and then take them in, and my wife can clean them up from there, give her something to do. She got COPD and kind of acts up. She gets out in this cold. So she stays in the house. She used to help me scrapping all the time. That thing fell right out of there, and I didn't even see where it went. Wow. Saw it fall. Hey, 
if you find this useful i need to cement this floor in one of these days but i am on a slope it's probably a foot higher on the south end of this shop than it is on the north end so what i could do is kind of level it up a little bit in an area then make a little sloped area then another level area and try to just have the have it stair stepped along the edges for the workbenches and whatnot which I've got some great stuff and uh you know, i'm gonna try to foam all that in where the light's coming through up there by, by the ceiling and uh try to insulate this corner a little bit and then uh, move the workbench over there i've already put in a light over here so light it up good so and the workbench will just barely fit in there before it hits the door so yeah this heater i put it on a cord and put a 220 plug on it for the welding plug on it so i just plug it in where my welder plugs in and it works pretty good that way yeah some of these which i've got like like this one here i've got several of them here there's some sockets that yeah okay yep wants me to go out and feed the dog sorry about yelling get out here videoing and then people gotta yell at you she wanted me to feed the shepherd out there in the circle drive and the pen out there that's the one she usually feeds but she doesn't want to get out in this cold but these here are usually uh i don't know if they're cast iron or die cast i'll have to check it there's a cu scrapping put up a video on how to tell uh which i can show you real quick Yep, drop it on the floor. Let me uh, stick this in the vise here. I can hit it with the grinder. Now the cats are out here. Okay, so I hit it with the grinder right there and I've got this solution of uh, copper sulfate spray it on if it turns black it's die cast and that seems to be what it's doing it turned black so that is actually die cast not cast aluminum and to get the copper, copper sulfate Go down to your hardware store and get this Zep root killer. So I've got another bottle up there. Yeah, somewhere up there. These dirt daubers they get on, on everything. Try not to scratch the label off. Zep root kill. It's copper sulfate. The reason I had that is I was doing some copper electroforming. Oh, what was it, a year, two years ago? But uh, just take a teaspoon of it, mix it up into a spray bottle. That's a good size spray bottle, so it may be a little weak, but you can definitely see how that turned black. So that's how you can tell aluminum from copper sulfate. Here's a here's a little piece of aluminum. on there okay, it's, it's not turning so 
that's how you tell. Hit that piece. Right the other one. So, it was CU scrapping that I got this tip from. You can see how that's turned black. So, that's how you can tell. So, the thing to do is find out. Uh, I think one yard, I saw somewhere, I don't remember where it was, I saw it. But the die cast is actually paying a better price than cast aluminum. So, uh, something I need to call a yard around here and find out, confirm that. And then, uh, I probably need to start to, if it does pay better, I de definitely need to start looking for it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, it's getting kind of lengthy. Give it a thumbs up. You know, like it, share it. And if you're not a subscriber and you want to see more videos like this, uh, hit that notification bell. Subscribe, then hit the notification bell. And uh, then we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, stay warm and make that money out there.